the fourth inning, two to one. Butler with the lead, James Hardy with you. Sanford's hosting three events in March for alumni and parents of current students. If you live in or around Atlanta, Louisville, Kentucky, or New York City, you're invited to join us for these receptions. Your updates about what is happening on campus have an opportunity to meet other alumni and parents from your area and visit with university officials. For dates and other details, go online to sanford.edu. We'll flip the lineup card over. This first pitch is grounded weakly to first in a convenient place there for the first baseman, Wojciechowski, to field the ball and conveniently step on it. Bruvick Warder fired on one pitch in the fourth inning with three unassisted. One away for Hunter Swilling, the second baseman, who is 0 for 1 as he is flied out to left field. Eric Stout, after having a nightmare's performance his last time out a week ago, has not allowed a hit yet, and we're in the bottom of the fourth inning as Swilling takes high. Infield back at all positions for Butler, and the fastball almost hits Swilling. And it's the second baseman for Sanford ahead in the count. Willing, the freshman from out of Columbus, Georgia, as the 2 0. Has swung and a fly ball into center field. Has a little bit of carry as Calderon will stop in right center to make the catch. Two away for Brandon Powell. Only four pitches for Stavage. He so far had his easiest inning of the ball game. Both teams with a very young roster coming in. Nine freshmen for both teams, just seven seniors for Butler, and eight for Sanford. First pitch is strike. It's Powell behind the count, 0 and 1, as he has lined out to first base his last time up. Had some rain earlier, but that stopped. 0 1. The curveball that's inside. Caleb Bryson on deck. Two outs though. It's Powell going against the lefty. Stout since the foul ball off a fastball. So one two count. We'll be on with you for Sanford and Purdue tomorrow. That'll be a two o'clock first pitch here on Sanford Sports TV. One two. There's a swing and a foul ball that will go out of play. Mike Grace will have Sanford men's basketball on senior night tomorrow against Western Carolina with a pregame at 5.40 and tip off at 6 o'clock from just over at the Pete Hanna Center. Two-strike pitch. There's a line drive and foul off to the left. Kurt Bloom currently doing Sanford women's basketball tonight. As they should be around halftime. In fact, we'll get a score of that ball game here shortly. Powell still behind the count one and two as Stout will send a foul ball out of play. Sanford and UNC Greensboro in women's basketball tonight. They are well into the second half now. Almost six minutes played in the second half with Sanford leading UNC Greensboro 41-33. to For women's basketball, their senior day will be a special Sunday 1 o'clock tip-off from the Pete Hanna Center. The 1-2. There's a swing and a miss and a good curveball from Stout as he's looked like an All-American pitcher so far through the first four innings as he has held Sanford without a hit. So we're through four. 2-1, Butler with the lead on the Sanford Sports Network. 